Good morning on a warm, bright and sunny day. It is Tuesday the 26th of March and I'm in the reading up with a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue unboxing. And uh, what I've got in here is a copy of Empire Land uh, by Satnam Sangira, a historian uh, and, and a cultural commentator. So um, this is uh, subtitled How Imperialism Has Shaped Modern Britain. So the British Empire ran for centuries and covered vast swathes of the world. This is fundamental to understanding modern Britain from the, uh, from the feeling that we can go out low when it comes to everything from Brexit to global pandemics to our distrust of clever cleverness and our particular brand of racism. However, even among those who celebrate it, there is a peculiar desire not to look at empire's legacy too closely. So, we barely learn about it at school. Our institutions shy away from the subject. In Empire Land, as Satan Gessangera argues that we must confront the shared past if we are to understand who we are as a nation. So, um, and it's entirely absolutely correct because we don't actually um, learn an awful lot about the British Empire um, at, um, you know, during our schooling. What I've kind of picked up has come from a little bit of it in school, but obviously, you know, mostly sort of like the positive things, um, the spread of you know, the industrialization during the Victorian era, that sort of thing. Um, but not really looking at the empire itself, you have to go um, or looking at something like the the, the, the the Indian mutiny and its political effects. But beyond that, not much. Uh, so a lot of reading and watching you know, sort of interesting documentaries and that sort of thing around the subject is more or less sort of like what I've kind of picked up over the years. Um, so, uh, you know, this was essentially said to the Bailey Gifford Fiction Prize for non-fiction 2021 long listed. So it, it, it's a well-regarded book, you know, so um, it will you know, introduce you to the subject um, and explore what it actually means and what, what the effects of uh, uh, the empire um, and um, imperialism are on us because we still sort of like, you know, um, the legacy is still here with us today. Um, so, contents, um, and then acknowledgement before we get into the book, um, and then um, starts talking about empire. Do we don't actually, because the thing is, we don't even celebrate empire particularly. Uh, the nearest we kind of get to it is, um, I suppose, we sort of like look at it sort of like like St George's Day, something like that, um, and that is not always. Uh, associated with positive um, cultural um, um, attitudes in this country, uh, unfortunately, and same again with empire, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, uh, this I think will be uh, an interesting uh, introduction to uh, the subject. Um, which, uh, you know, and, I mean, the book itself has um, which, uh, an excellent bibliography. I'm just flipping through. Let me just where are we? Where are we? Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's the that's just the bibliography of the book. Um, notes, of course. I do. I, I mean, you know, uh, fond of um, you know any history book that's got notes because essentially that allows you to uh, look at the sources, look at the um, um, uh, uh, basically the subject matters actually explored it. Um, you know, in, in a little bit more detail as necessary. Um, so on with an index um, and so what else we do actually cover in here so Empire Day um, imperialism and me um, because it, you know, obviously the, the, the thing about this subject matter is that you are you can look at it from different points of view um, and anyone whose um, cultural origins lie outside of uh, the United Kingdom is going to essentially have a different attitude to you know someone um, you know like me um, who is you know Caucasian uh, British born here etc um, so yeah um, so that I think will be interesting read so that's Empire Land uh, how Imperialism Shaped Modern Britain by Satnam Sangira. And there's a couple of uh, documentaries that, it, that he has done since on television and they're worth watching as well. 
um, if you're not going to need it. Anyway, thanks for watching another unboxing in the nook. If you enjoyed this, then please do click on the like button down below. And uh, if you want, um, if you want to be, um, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here with. Uh, a box from which I will unbox here. typically a role playing game, a book or game, in this case a, 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 book, a, um, a, book, uh, a history book which I will talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea, then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching the other unboxing in the nook, I will be back again soon with another one, bye for now.